The past year has been a real emotional roller coaster. It's challenged us all and tested our resilience in ways we have never experienced before. For me, there have been some incredible highs, but also some challenging lows. More than anything though, it's given me time to reflect. In this new series, I want to share with you how the last year has reshaped the way I approach my own mental and physical health. Fresh air, it does something to my mind, it really relaxes me. In this episode, I'm talking about movement and why not all exercise has to be about burpees and press-ups. What I've learned even more this year is that life is better when we exercise. When we push ourselves physically and move our bodies, we're able to change the way we feel. I've always had a lot of energy and HIIT training has always been a big focus of my training routine. But during lockdown, I started to change the way I think about movement. Like everyone else's, my routine turned upside down and I started to discover other ways of getting more movement into my day. So this is ways to come during lockdown, sometimes with the kids and Rosie, sometimes on my own. And it was probably the first time ever that I actually slowed down. I've always seen exercise as something that has got to be super intense. Just started doing 5K walks, 10K walks. I really enjoyed it and I, I, even now I find that it kind of, it, it relieves stress and I come away from this part feeling so much calmer. I think being inside, I felt so confined that I kind of need to get out, I need to get some fresh air and I think there's a difference between sort of walking on my treadmill, which I do. I do do walks and I do do treadmill sprints and stuff, but getting outside and getting fresh air, you can't get that just being in a gym or being in a home, you know, home environment. I think you have to step outside of that area. Getting outside and being in nature, even if it's for 10 minutes a day, is so important to me now. You know, I used to associate exercise just with like high intensity, smashing my body to bits, heart rate up here, you know, but now I've realized actually doing a nice slow, steady walk through through the woods or around the lake is like just as beneficial to me in my mind. Sometimes the last thing you want to do when you feel down or have low energy is to exercise. But the connection between exercise and your mental health is real. You can change the way you feel if you move your body. I never used to walk though, I used to think it was so boring. I would always, Nicky would be like, oh, my, my brother Nicky would be like, oh, I want to go for a walk and I'd say, nah, not for me. But now like, I get a lot out of it. I sometimes listen to music or I listen to a podcast, but Sometimes the best walks when you just take nothing. I leave my phone in the car. When I you know, get back to the car, I feel like a different person. For me, lockdown reminded me that exercise doesn't just have to be burpees or sprints or lifting weights. All movement is good, and all movement has the power to lift us, to help us feel happier and more energized. So find something you love, whether it's walking, HIIT training, swimming, yoga or running, and always remind yourself, You'll always feel better after you exercise and you'll never regret a workout. And I've realised more than ever that just moving your body sometimes, even for 10 minutes is enough. And this workout is going to do just that. Low intensity, low impact. We've got 10 exercises to do. We're going to do 40 seconds on each move with a 20 second rest. And I guarantee by the end of it, you're going to feel energised, you're going to feel happier and it's going to really set you off for a positive day.